Good morning, DJ Tech Tools. Ian Golden here. Today, I'm super excited to share with you four effects techniques that really work. How do I know? Because I've been developing and designing these over the course of the last year, live on stage, and I guarantee they sound really awesome and they're very practical. So the effects techniques that I'm gonna show you today are the techno fill, the vocal repeat, the off-kilter echo, and finally, the filter kill. So without much ado, let's jump right in and show you how these guys work. I've got a little bit of a loop running here in deck A. It's just an atmospheric loop. What we need are some drums. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and use the twister sequencer to program some drums and show you the very first technique, which is the techno fill. Um, I want a backbeat hi-hat, so let's go ahead and sequence that in. Maybe a little bit of a soft fill. That sounds good. I need to know where the one is, so I'm gonna go ahead and create a, uh, a hat pattern two. We'll just do a standard two. All right. Cool, now we have a beat. So this is a great beat because it's very, very simple. And if we wanted to spice it up, we could use the techno fill technique. This of course uses a beat masher. What you're gonna to wanna to do is use the beat masher to grab the snare, or in this case, the clap. So you can see why I kind of call it the techno fill, because it sounds pretty techno techno-y. It's a way to create all those big, steady, very staccato snare rolls really quickly and really easily. You can hear that I've got a little bit of a reverb behind it. And if you really want to spice it up, you can add a formant filter or a peak filter in between the two and create a nice buildup. And there you go. So that is the techno fill. It's basically a beat masher that grabs a snare, hopefully on a drum loop or a song where there's very sparse drums because you really want to just get the snare. In this case with the twister, I only have the snare routed to those effects. So I'm able to really isolate it, which is quite nice. But you can get the same effect if you have a second track playing over the first one and you just grab the snare on that second track, maybe drop the bass out, drop the highs out and isolate those mids and then you can do a nice techno fill okay so the second one is the vocal repeat okay so we've got a, a rhythm we've got some music running let's get a vocal in the mix okay so I've got a vocal in deck uh, C and I'm gonna use the exact same effects but in this case we're gonna hear something totally different so uh, let's go ahead and put a little bit of uh, echo on that vocal so there's our vocal. So we've got a nice trail, good ambiance, it sounds good. Now where does the repeat come from? Okay, here's the trick. You want to use a beat masher again at the beginning of the effects chain to grab a single phrase or note in the vocal and just repeat that. So I'm going to kind of listen to what the vocal is saying and when I hear a note that I want to grab, I'm going to hit the beat masher. Let's try it out and hopefully it'll sound halfway decent. There it is, the vocal repeat. This is really easy. And when you're using uh, well-known vocals or well-known lines, it's really nice because you have maybe a full phrase that everyone knows, and then you just grab a single note and sort of dub it out and make it very um, underground and a little bit more minimal than the full line. Um, so that is the vocal repeat. Next up, let's do the off-kilter echo and let's actually start to build these together so they all form a phrase um, let's get a nice little vocal repeat that we like back into the mix all right 
right, I like that. So let's bring in our, our third song now. It's a little loop from a disco track. All right, so now we've got all four talking to each other and kind of working. This is a trick that you often hear a lot of big techno artists or other people do if they want to throw a kind of wobbly off-kilter filter into the mix. Usually it's done with um, Boss hardware because the Boss hardware echoes sound really good and they can get super sideways and intentionally very much off the beat or off-kilter. Um, there is an effect in Tractor that will actually allow you to do this. Uh, it's quite handy and it is called the Ramp Delay. So right here, I've got a ramp delay. Let's go ahead and throw that on the beat, and then we're gonna proceed it by another crazy effect, and the two in combination get really, really sideways. That is the fast stretch. Now, just a word of warning for you kids out there. These two together can create a lot of feedback, so use it in moderation, especially if it's on a large sound system. Uh, but if tightly controlled, you can get some really wild, wild stuff. So let's hear what that sounds like and make this otherwise straight beat a little bit off kilter. All right, that was pretty cool. That got a little sideways there. Let's try it one more time and now we'll isolate the effects more so you can really hear what they do. So in this case, we've got a ramp delay. You can hear it ramping up. It's good to maybe drop out the low end here, use a filter. And now we're gonna bring in that fast stretch. And then I cut them all off and let go of the filter at the same time, of course, to drop the beat. So there is the off kilter delay. Okay, so the final effects technique in the bag is the filter kill. Now in Tractor, there is a filter, um, but the filter goes after all the effects. And if you wanna have the filter kill the music and then have a nice effect trail after it, you kind of want the filter to go before the effects. So there is actually a standard filter in the effects of Tractor, and what you want to do is just put it in the middle of your chain. So if we bring back that disco track, you'll see here that I've got a filter in the middle. And if I use the filter, I can pretty much filter out the entire track until there's nothing left. Now, if we put a reverb behind it, or maybe even a echo, then you can do these nice big filter kills. You might even put a uh, beat masher in front. And over the other tracks, it'll start to sound pretty good. So let's bring those elements back in. So now you can hear that I'm actually using the two techniques at the front and the back together. It's the uh, techno fill, which grabs the snare and then does a repeat on it in combination with the filter kill to create a nice effect. Let's hear what that sounds like. So there you have it, folks. Four, and actually in the end, five pretty handy effects.
effects techniques that you can use for real on the stage or in your bedroom, whatever you'd like, with just about any controller and pretty much any DJ software out there. I hope you'd enjoyed it. If you want to find more videos, articles, and other resources like this one, visit us on the web at djtechtools.com. Oh,